we can go ahead and open up After Effects and just drop that comp into it. Oh yeah, in this After Effects comp, it's this button right here that you just press to make the background transparent. So underneath you can see in other comps. So this one is the one. So go ahead and drag this comp over to this spot right here in Premiere. And as you can see, you can easily go ahead and that's exactly what we just grabbed from After Effects. And we're gonna go ahead and start adding some, some backgrounds and things like that. I'm gonna do the background first, and then I'm gonna go ahead and add the the intro and all that other stuff. So, boom. I kind of like this right here. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and grab that. That's actually gonna be an overlay. Scale the frame size, and then when you see this orange, we want to switch that over. We're gonna to go to HLS, drop the HLS on there, and then just get it to a nice like reddish hue. Like that's that's reddish right there. Put the saturation up a little bit, and then as you can see, we can't see what's going on underneath. So you see this like that spotty? I don't like that. So we're just gonna bring the set back down. All right, boom. Screen it or lighten it, it's up to you, whatever works. And you just kinda stretch it out just a tad, just so it's not as fast. And then you're just gonna go ahead and copy that a few times. I usually double copy it up like that. Boom, copy it to the end of the song, really. To be fancy, so it's not everything looks the like, so it looks like this thing. Maybe just throw a horizontal flip on every other one. And now you got that nice little cool overlay. Give it some motion, and we still have the underneath here that we gotta mess with. Now, all right, so we're gonna turn that layer off real quick. And I just wanna make a few adjustments here. Um, Lumetri, so we're gonna go ahead and uh, play with it just a little bit. Gonna add the Lumetri color onto the comp. And then for here, we're just gonna make those necessary adjustments. And then for this, I'll probably add like an, a regular just glow on it again, just so it has it. Yeah. Now, I don't want to feel like I'm using a bunch of plugins that y'all can't get. You gotta invest in yourself, though. Um, I invest a lot of money in my plugins to make my process and my flow easier. But just so people who don't have anything and don't have any starting money, you wanna use transform. You're gonna change the shutter angle to 180. For the scale, you're gonna go scale up to like 10. We'll hit this scale keyframe right here at 100%, and then we're gonna bring this down to zero. Just type in zero. Boom. All right, so boom, you got that. Go ahead and duplicate that. And then on the second one, you're gonna go ahead and delete that transfer. And just so in between, um, so the rotation, it could be a seamless rotation, but me, I'm just extra. I, I'm, I'm always gonna add like some sort of, I don't know, effect. So you don't have to, like I said, this is me, but. Looks like something's moving. And then you just do the same thing, alt click, bring it down just a little bit so you have enough to edit. Bong, you can just do the same thing. Same thing here. Bring it down a little bit. Ooh. Bring it over. Bring it over like that. So now we have. All right, so now you'll have this right here. This coming in. 
with the glow and then you have like a nice little lines that roll through it cool same thing with that one same thing with that one and if you want like i said you can go in the middle you got to get creative though you can find some different effects uh play with some different effects in in premiere use some free ones there are free ones out there now my friend did give me a he did already have a video to go with this so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna put the video underneath i'm going to he shot it on a vhs camera so if you want to do it you would have to do it, something similar to that i'm gonna just go ahead and take that black and white it throw black and white effect on there boom and then you're just gonna bring that opacity all the way down like barely can see it like maybe an eight there we go so then you can see it in the background but it's not so heavy yeah and it's there but it's not so crazy i might want to bring it up just a little bit to like 18 and then i'm going to adjust the levels That's pretty cool. Okay, back. Now, lastly, but when this intro is, it's a long intro before the actual uh, world comes into play. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and like I said, this is a quick visualizer. This isn't like a like a long thought out visualizer. Like this is something quick. People need quick content, fast content to help promote their music. So you need to be able to come up with some quick ideas and repurpose some of the content that they already have for multiple ways. So for this, I'm just gonna go ahead and add some text. I'm gonna go type in his name. We're gonna go Nimbus, bold. Like that. Crosses all this. Bring it in. Boom. Bring some sound. Same thing. I like to put it at the end, uh, scale it, hit that keyframe at the beginning of the scale, turn this down just a little bit right there. Boom. And then for this, I actually want to go ahead and probably do difference, exclusion, change the color. So like red. Yellow, boom. Difference, like I said. Like I said, I always use my, the ones I already have. Like I said, you can use dissolve, dip to black. You can use slides where you can change the position. It's all up to what you want to do. Boom. But I want to keep this and I want this to go down. So I'm going to just press down. Boom, it's coming in. And then it's just going to drop down. And then we'll probably do another one. Copy paste this with the name of the song called Yayo. And we're gonna make that really big. Make that black. Ooh, ooh, ooh. We'll put it on top here. It's 
So it's like popping in. This is dropping off. That comes in. You can actually move it down to another keyframe, maybe like right there. So it looks like uh, this is sliding down. This is popping in. Boom. This one might go up. Go add this position, put it in the middle, boom. Boom. And like I said, that's how we'll have like a quick, quick visualize. I really just came for kills. I don't want no strings attached. She want me to pay for nails. Tuck it and go upstairs. Ain't no problems, ain't no pressure, no I'm safe as hell Cause gon' gonna shoot like Damien Lil Every dollar bill I touch gon' put in the safe until the safe two pack space is filled All Benjamin Franklin bills, I'm ya Yeah, so, like I said, this is just a quick way to just throw some A quick way to throw some text on top of the idea that we already had a quick visualizer nothing this is in, in depth like if somebody wants to buy like a basic visualizer this is something that they would get like basic like some text some words some background and some overlays that's it every move that i make guarantee i'll be making the news i'm a fox father gls it's about drive make a movie the team get involved booby trap we won't lead to the mall okay guys once again i hope that helped you in some way shape or form and you can take something out of that like i said this is two parts yeah. so once again thank you guys for all the support as always like comment subscribe and for the creators keep hustling keep creating and most importantly keep learning until next time ali dope i'm checking out yes sir